Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Raj. So in this video, we're going to learn how to calculate linear regression using R. So the commonly understood equation for linear regression is y equals b plus ax. So in high school mathematics, we might have heard the equation y equals mx plus c to understand the uh, relationship between x and y and to calculate the slope and y intercept. But in linear regression, we use the formula y equals b plus ax, where y is the outcome variable, x is the predictor, a is the slope and b is the y-intercept all right so you can see x y plane in which there is a line passing through the coordinates 0 comma 2 and minus 2 comma 0 and we calculate the slope by using the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is 2 minus 0 so y2 minus y1 divided by x2 is 0 and x1 is minus 2 and which yields a slope of 1 and y intercept of um, 2. So this is the simple x y plane to give you an overview of uh, what is slope and what is y intercept. Now let's go back to R to calculate the uh, linear regression. Alright, so this is R Studio. Um, so I have a little script over here. I will run uh, every step one by one and give you the description uh, of the output so that it will be easy for us to follow along. Okay. So first of all, let me enter the data with the variables x and y, where x is the predictor, which is the height in centimeter for 10 observations, okay, so 150, 170, 140 and so on, and y is the outcome, which is weight in kilogram, which has also 10 observations. So let me enter that data by simply selecting this and then running it, all right. So I can even directly type that command over here in the console and then hit enter. So this is the same as running the um, syntax in the script. All right. So now uh, I have to apply the lm function to uh, calculate the linear uh, regression. So lm y and this symbol and then x. So I can specify a name for that relationship. So for example, if I specify that relationship, as the name relation so let me run this one all right so this shows in the uh, environment over here and then i can simply print the relation and the summary of relation so that it will show the output all right so this is the output so uh, after some time i will uh, explain this output so meanwhile let, let us go to other steps all right so now uh, we can also estimate the value of uh, y based on the value of x. So based on the given uh, regression model. So I will explain this model uh, in a little uh, in a, in a, after some time. And then based on this model, we can even uh, estimate the value of y uh, based on the value of x. So let me just run this one for now. This estimates the value. I'll come back uh, in a moment, and also I can even uh, draw the chart. Okay, I can uh, draw a figure to show the relationship. Let me run this. All right, so this this shows the regression of um, weight and height, and you can see weight in kg and height in centimeter uh, in y-axis and x-axis, and also you can see the uh, best fit line with the small uh, circles as the values or as the observations. Okay. So now uh, let us interpret the output here. Yeah. So from this output, you can see, um, you see these um, highlighted values over here. Okay. You can see this uh, estimate minus 0 0.64 sorry 0 0.64062 uh, which is the uh, difference in predicted mean value of y okay so this shows that the difference in predicted mean value of y is 0 0.64 kg with positive one centimeter difference in height or one centimeter difference in the value of um, x and then you can see uh, this value which is the p value of the um, estimate okay so the p-value is 6.47 times uh, 10 to the power um, minus 7, which is 
which is uh, statistically significant at alpha of less than 0 0.001 you can see uh, asterisk over here so we show that it's significant at uh, less than 0 0.001 and also you can see the residual standard error of 2.83 so here you can see 2.83 residual standard error um, at 8 degrees of freedom so we have 10 observations so uh, it's n minus 2 the degree of freedom in calculating the linear regression because we have uh, minus 2 uh, we do because one is for the slope and another for the y-intercept okay so this is how we um, we interpret the output all right so now uh, we can even estimate the value of y based on a given value of uh, x which uh, which we saw in that r output so let's go back to the r output again okay so here you can see um, if x equals 159 then the value of y, y will be 69.20312 so what i did is that i created an object a okay a which is one value that is uh, 159 and then it keeps the result after predicting with the uh, relationship okay so this relation have um, already uh, given uh, the name relation for lm y and x so what it did is it simply predicted the value of uh, a y based on the given value of x so when i click print result and then it will show the value so i so i can predict the value of y based on the value of x by using the given uh, regression model and this command so plot command is used to um, plot the uh, regression linear regression line okay so you can give the color blue for, for these small uh, circles okay so you can change these uh, values if you want to get different shapes okay and y lab is for uh, y axis which is uh, weighting uh, kg and the x lab is for x axis which is a uh, height in centimeter and then this main means the title the regression of weight and height you can uh, give any name based on your desired output so if you want to save this uh, in a given folder so you can simply click on the export or even in the code you can um, specify the folder name and the file name and then the file type and you can use this dev off command if you want to save this directly by running it instead of uh, showing it here so let me uh, give it a try okay so let me select this all and then click and run and then now uh, let's check the folder D drive you can see the file name height weight based on uh, the command that I gave if you open this file this is a PNG file which shows the relationship between weight and height um, and this is the best fit line so in this way uh, you can calculate linear regression using R and this is it guys uh, if you think that this video is very useful please share it with your colleagues and if you have any comments please uh, comment below and then um, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe um, and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye bye cheers thanks